Challenge has the top poker shows at 9, the final of the Celebrity Poker Club, followed by the all-new PartyPoker.com European Open at 10. First, another new show for Saturday. Big break. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm going to be snickering you tonight. I'm playing for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm going to be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Davidson. a brand new game show called Big Break and this is my Big Break with the BBC and if this don't work out we're really snookered. <laughs> <laughs> so just in case I forget the rules uh, of snooker, we have hired this funny man <laughs> to help me out on all the finer points. He's a great snooker player. John Virgo! <laughs> Mate. Not too bad. Come on, you must know some funny old snooker stories, didn't you? Well, a lot of the funny things that happen at snooker, people don't see, because mm. a lot of the snooker's recorded. I mean, when the people are watching it, half past 12, 1 o'clock at night, we're not playing then. Mm. Terry Griffiths and Cliff Thorburn are, but most of us... <laughs> <laughs> the old slow coach. Well, we see we've got some fast ones tonight. Are they all in here? They are. Yeah, OK, then. Let's go and have a look at the contestants who are waiting to make their big break. <laughs> Jill. Hello. Oh, Jill. Stand up a minute. Sit down a minute. <laughs> Where are you from, Jill? I'm from a village called Hampstall Ridware in Staffordshire, which is near Litchfield. Yeah, that's near Birmingham, isn't it? <laughs> I've got three snooker balls in there. <laughs> Each. Oh, I've been worried there, haven't I? There we are. <laughs> three snooker balls. Look at that. Looks like the little thing you get on the colour TV thing, doesn't it? Each one of these represents a famous snooker professional. Dip your hand in there, Jill. <gasps> yellow ball. She's pulled out the old yellow one, John. Well, one of the great advances in this game is to have a very quick potter, and you couldn't have picked anyone quicker. Mike Hallett. Mike Hallett. <laughs> Thanks. Married? Not yet. And then not anymore after that. <laughs> <laughs> Works it in. So how's you, how's your game, mate? Okay, yeah, I'm playing okay at the moment. Well, hope you do well. Our yellow team there, Mike and Jill, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Turn that shirt out. <laughs> Smashing old shirt there. It's a bit of a boogie like shirt there. Whereabouts you from, Mark? I'm from Pontefract in West Yorkshire. Do you like snooker? Love it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Who's yeah. your favourite player? Well, I've, I, uh, I feel that um, it'd be nice if Joe Johnson were around today. Right, there's two balls in here. Is one of these Joe Johnson? Do you want a red one or a blue? Would Joe be a blue or a red? What do you think? Try a red there, John. What have we got, mate? I well, it's red. make a wish time, Jim, because it is the 1986 world champion, Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson! <laughs> You left home there, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I need you after my trip down, believe me. <laughs> Mark and Joe, our red team, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How are you? Thank you. You're from Scotland? Yes, from Greenock. From where? Greenock. Oh, Greenock. That's yes. nice to have Greenock, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Yeah, I, I don't do Scottish jokes. Good. Now, I don't. <laughs> no, no, my poor father, he died. Women and whiskey killed my father. Couldn't get either, so he shot himself. <laughs> <laughs> married? I am, yes. Been married to Paul for nine and a half years. How many children? Two, two daughters, Angela and Roisin. Ah, give me a little wave then. Which camera? That number three over there. Hello, Angela. Hello, Hello Roisin. Oh, they came back, didn't they? Thank you. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth. Yes. We've only got a blue ball left. Well, John? It is number one snooker player in the world, Stephen Hendry. Yes. Yes. 
Well, this could be the Scotland team, you know, Elizabeth. Eh? Never knew you liked We're going Does he look different from, do you think? He looks so different. <laughs> <laughs> He's sober. <laughs> Then our blue team, ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth and Andrew. I've given him every name under the sun this afternoon. He's going to ring my neck. Right, stay with us. Let's play our first game. It's called Red Hot. <laughs> Three questions each, OK? Each correct answer gets ten seconds of playing time for your partner. That's very important, that, because otherwise these boys have to be running around at warp nine <laughs> trying to pop. We're going to give you ten seconds free each, OK? Eyes down, look in. Jill. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know this one. What is sodium chloride better known as? Salt. Correct. Can you cook? No. Oh, that's her elbow, then. <laughs> <laughs> Which two words that sound the same answer these clues? Not moving and writing materials. Not moving and writing mater writing material. Sort of, you Still. buy it in a... <laughs> Set. Sex. Sex. <laughs> no, it's actually stationary. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Which of these is not a C? That's wave C. C, C. C? Which of these is not a C? Black? Green or yellow? Green. <sighs> Correct! <laughs> 30 seconds, Mike, 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, John, explain to us the very complicated rules of Red Hot. Certainly, Jim. Ten reds on the table. Mike's got to pot as many balls as he can in 30 seconds after he's made his break. Yeah. Still none. <laughs> the next time you strike the cue ball, Mike, the clock will start. Okay. We're really rooting for you. Friends, we want you to win. <laughs> Hello. He's got the holding stick out. <laughs> You're off the mark there, Jill. Mm. Two. He's already scored more than Devon Malcolm ever had. <laughs> it's the end of the cricket jokes. Still two. Ooh. Ten seconds to go. Three. Quickly. Five seconds, Mike. Four. Two. One. <laughs> oh, Mike oh. Hallow scores four. It's amazing. They all go to the snooker table like this. And you see them coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult, Mike, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Yeah. Right, Mark. <laughs> First question. What is acetic acid better known as? Uh, acetic acid? Vinegar. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> On these <laughs> <laughs> okay. It'd be funny if I got it wrong, read it wrong, and there's all people like burning their mouths off on their chips of sulfuric acid. <laughs> Which two words that sound the same answer these clues? Make someone's acquaintance and animal's flesh. Skin? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Foot. <laughs> The time right. like, it's meat. Oh, meat. <laughs> you meet someone, you don't foot someone. Do you? <laughs> oh, please to foot you. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, mate. It, it, they go in the ball and we don't know which order they come out of. I'm sorry. <laughs> Virgo's fault. He said we'll give old Johnson that thick bloke in the frock. <laughs> Okay, Mark, this is... Come on, then. You ready for this one? I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. What boy's name is found by taking initial letters, that's the first letter, of consecutive months? Is it Dan, Jason, or Sam? So think of that. It's... July, August, Jetton, <laughs> Jason, Vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> started 
off as a nice quiz. It's turned into this now. I don't know. You've got 30 seconds here, Mr. Johnson. Take the table. <laughs> Well, you've got the same time as my card, but Clean you've got a beat face. for. Look at the set. Look at that. What's that? The white. Oh, it's a hair. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Thorne left this. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Thorne left that as his only one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe, make your break. <sighs> oh, now that's a break. They're running at Ascot. <laughs> the clock will start the next time you strike the cue ball. I'm getting out of the way, he's gone hitting that odd. <laughs> One. Terry Griffiths did that, he played a snooker as well. <laughs> nice. Two. Oh, I've sussed that, how they make them balls come back now. Still two. Seven seconds to go. Six seconds. Three. <laughs> Joe Johnson oh, scores three. three. <laughs> A three there. OK, then, Elizabeth, are you ready? No. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. They're all right. They're right. They're right. You won't need any help like some other people. <laughs> Here we go, then. What is... Abs hang on. Ascorbic acid, better known as. Ascorbic acid. <laughs> Salt. What? Salt. <laughs> Salt. You're as bad as him. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually vitamin C, so uh, we can't give you that one, but you get the next two, honest. It makes it a bit even there. Right, which two words that sound the same answer these clues? What Oliver Twist wanted, a clip around the ear roll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and the actor, Roger... Moore. Moore. Yes. Can I have some more? More? <laughs> Which Greek god is a canal backwards? Who writes days? <laughs> Isis, Zeus, or Apollo? Zeus. Zeus. It is called Suez. <laughs> there he is. OK, Stephen, you've got 30 seconds to beat Joel's three. Nice break. None. Is that good? It is a good break. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Terry right. Griffiths could get three here in 30 seconds. <laughs> pressure on me now. <laughs> Stephen, the clock will start the next time you strike the cue ball. That's your off the mark there, the old Scottish team. Off where of Scotland. Good positional Bring play that you see, Jim. Two. Uh oh. Three. <laughs> oh, he's overrun that little bit. Seven seconds. Mm. We're doomed. Four. Four. Here's a four. You've got four seconds left. Three seconds, Steve. Two. Hit something. Quick. <laughs> Be a loser, Mark, and I knew it would be you right from the start. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a feeling that way as well. <laughs> Joe, smashing. You enjoy the game? Yeah, very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we've enjoyed seeing you, Dan. It's always a pleasure to see you. Mark, stick with us. We've got a little chance for you to win a consolation prize as we set up for Virgo's Trick Shop. <laughs> Mark, this is where John sets up the funny old trick shot. All you've got to do is complete it the same way as John does, <laughs> even if he gets it wrong. You just do it the same. I'm sure I can Okay, do and uh, you'll win a nice little consolation prize. Okay, John? <laughs> oh, sorry, my name's Willie. Uh, John, <laughs> I'm just trying to find a winner in this paper here, Jim. Yeah, Willie Thorne. Well, yeah. do you want me to play the trick shot? Yes, please, but not too okay. much trouble. Well, this Willie. is probably a problem because it's a bit of a gamble whether you get this or not. Hello, Mark. How are you? Hello. Lovely to meet you. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. OK, Mark. Well, to play this shot, what we've got to do, we're going to try and pot the black in the centre pocket. And the way it works, it will run up the cues, hit the back of the pocket, down the two cues together, and into this centre pocket. Good luck, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> is ruin that good trick shot like Willie Thorne just did <laughs> and you can win this wonderful prize. And for the trick shot tonight, Jim, our winner can see into the future with this powerful pair of binoculars. I know it's only binoculars and it could be worse. You could have come all the way from Bradford, trains, planes and automobiles, left at <laughs> 8 o'clock this morning to get three reds, couldn't you? <laughs> Someone we know quite nearby. All right, then, Mark, off you go. Go and see Uncle Vernon. <coughs> All right, Willie. <laughs> oh, thank you. Best of luck. <coughs> what you got to do, just hit the red. Don't hit the black too hard. And it'll come up the cues, hit the back of the pocket, round the cues, into it. That's no what problem. You're do. Yeah, of course it is. And thank with you. the binoculars, you'll be able to go to the races, <laughs> won't you? In front of us. <clears throat> Don't hit it too hard. That's perfect. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I love it. It's off the... I love it. Watch this. Technology at work. OK, boys. <laughs> Excellent. OK, then. This is where we change the old points into pound notes. So come down the front, boys and girls. We'll sort out the rats in order. John, do you want to toss us a little coin up in the air? Certainly, Jim. Jill, give us a shout. Heads, please. It is a heads, Jill. Can we go second, please? Second? Ooh. OK, then, Elizabeth. Down to you, then. Pocket money. Now, what you've got to do... See you later. What you have to do, right, Steve's going to pop all them balls, aren't you? Well, I'll try. In one minute, 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but every time you miss one, which you won't really, but every time you do miss one, I'm going to ask you a question, Elizabeth, OK? And when you get it right, you can carry on then. OK. So if he misses a red one, though, we go pot luck. It's that type of question. Misses a brown one, places. Green, music. Yellow, thing. Come on, lads, press them buttons. <laughs> OK, so you understand. You've got to do the whole lot. That's questions, answers, and all the potting in one minute, 30 seconds. Tell them what they can win, John Boy. Plenty Wonga. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's money, Elizabeth. Mm. Plenty Wonga. OK, then. John, let's tell us the plenty Wonga. What's the rules? OK, Stephen. Well, there's six reds, six colours on the table. As you can see, it's got numbers on. That's the value in pounds. But, for example, if you were to pot the blue ball, which is valued at £50, into the blue pocket, which is indicated by the blue ball on the screen, then that would become £100. But remember, if you miss a shot, you must wait for Jim to say, OK, play. Make your break. Ooh, bad break. Is it? Ooh, yeah. could be a tricky one, Elizabeth. Don't forget, if you don't know the answer, just say snookered and we'll find something easier to talk about. OK, John, yeah. down to you. OK, Stephen, the time will start next time you strike the cue ball. <coughs> Miss Red. Name Elvis Presley's mansion. Christmas. Correct. Play. Miss Red. Oh, dear. Florence Nightingale appears on which UK banknote? Ten pound note. Correct. Play. Ten pound. Ooh, Miss Pink. A double pink there. At which Olympics did Torval and Dean win gold? Was it 1980 or 1984? 1984. Correct. Play. Miss Red. 
Oh, dear. Is the sternum known as the chest or the thigh bone? Chest bone. Correct. Play. Miss Red. Whoa. In bingo, which two-figure number is called legs? Eleven. Correct. Play. Oh, I can. Miss Blue. What type of farmer was President <clears throat> Jimmy Carter? <clears throat> Peanuts. Peanuts, correct play. Ten pounds. <laughs> Two seconds to go. <laughs> Stephen oh. Henry scores 30 pounds. 30. <laughs> You see, if the balls don't drop right, you've sort of... It's a bad break. Oh, snookered. Snookered. Oh, well, Scotland there, we're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Round of applause for Elizabeth and Stephen there, ladies and gentlemen. The blue team. <laughs> Come on, Jill. Go on, Mike. Take the table. OK, Mike. You make the break. Ooh. OK, Mike, well, there's quite a lot to beat here. £30. <laughs> <laughs> time starts next time you strike the cue ball. £10. £80. <laughs> <We're doomed. laughs> Miss Red. Oh. <clears throat> Is Concorde or 737 the fastest passenger plane? Yes. Oh, Concorde. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I... Ten pound. Remember, all this money goes to Jill, you know, so let, let's get her some money. OK, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's oh, 90. Hundred and sixty. Oh, excellent. Making a total of two hundred and forty so far. Mm. Ten pound. Extra. Going for the old pink to pink. Yes, another sixty. Oh. That makes three hundred and ten pounds so far. Gotta be a wealthy woman, Jill. And you're not even divorced yet. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> Do giant pandas eat shoots or fruits? Shoots. Correct. Play. Ten pound. Ten seconds to go. Three hundred and twenty pounds so far. This girl will be in love with you. <laughs> went for a double blue. Oh, oh, went for the double. Is it Mike oh. Collins scores three hundred and twenty pounds. They're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> we're doomed. They only got three balls down and we're doomed. Oh, all that weight in Scotland. Both, oh, it's, it's hard, though, isn't it? It is. It is a, the main thing is, have you enjoyed yourself, Elizabeth? Totally, thank you. Are you sure? Yes, completely oh. kissy poop. Oh, don't forget, you've got 30 quid to take home between <laughs> you. <laughs> you've got to give him 15, because we, you know, the funny old... <laughs> but you're going to take home a snooker cue as well and the big break... Funny thing, a little <laughs> big break trophy and a snooker cue, because everyone gets one. So, give her a nice big clap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and thank you for the first time to Join us now for Michael Blake. <laughs> OK, then. Right, Mike, can you break the balls up before we explain yeah. the old game here? This is the finale, the big one, Jill. If you pardon the expression. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, what would make it easier, Jill, if Mike had less balls to pot, obviously, so what I'm going to do is ask you five questions. For every question you get correct, Mike can remove any red ball of his choice. That's a maximum of five, so you can take five balls off. That'd sort you out, wouldn't it, mate? Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. You've got one minute thirty to do the whole lot. Yep. And you can win these wonderful, fabby prizes. 
Any reds left tonight, Jim, and our winner can enjoy this vintage port with their Stilton. Up the yellow, they can also prepare for the snow with a series of dry ski lessons. Or remove the green to give a sparkle to the washing up with this compact tabletop dishwasher. Enjoy the freedom of a mobile telephone plus one year's rental for downing the brown. While a state-of-the-art colour television complete with teletext and matching video player is the prize for potting the blue. Sink the pink to enter the high-tech age with this computer complete with printer. And finally, pop the black for tonight's exotic mystery, Star Brush. It's only five questions. Don't forget, say snooker. Don't hang around if you don't know. It's best to get it wrong quickly. <laughs> no, right, so you're going to get more right. I've got great faith in you. All right, Mike, we're going to do our best up here for you, mate. OK, Jill, nice and steady. Time starts now. What was Pinocchio made of? Wood. Correct. Which number is represented by the Roman numeral X? Ten. Correct. What colour is smoked salmon? Smoked pink. That'll do. Fine. According to the rhyme, who kissed the girls and made them cry? Quick. Can't Georgie it. Porgy. Americans call it a sidewalk. We call it what? Pavement. Correct. Stop the clock. <laughs> Come on up. Oh, well. What's that four, wasn't it? She's given him a chance, I think. Okay, Mike, let's He's see what we're going to take well. off. Obviously, you want Must be in this one? a bit confident now. Got his own back from Stephen after the bends of the edges. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'll do, I'll carry the rest round with me in case you need it. Save time. You've got one minute and seven seconds to clear the table. Normal snooker rules, after you've potted a red, you must go for a colour. And then, obviously, when the reds have gone, it's the colours in sequence. Wish you the best of luck, Mike. Good luck, Mike. That's great. Shot. Whoa. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Just over screwed the cue ball. Get in. That's it. Good shot. Well, you're on the prize, and that's vintage port and Stilton. That's great. Do you want to come back for this yellow? Good shot. 33 seconds left, Mike. You can do this. Great shot. Come on, Mike, move it now. 21 seconds. OK, this is for a tabletop dishwasher. Go on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Doing well. Come on, Mike. Back with this blue. Come on, Mike. The blue. Eight seconds. Stop white. Just pop the pink now and be certain. When you've got the vintage port and you've got a colour TV and video and all that stuff, and I'm having an heart attack here. <laughs> okay, then, don't forget to thank our wonderful celebrity guests up there, Joe and Stephen and Elizabeth and Mark. <laughs> well done. Thank you, John. Good night. They're really cool, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Join us next week on Big Break. Weeknights at 10 catch brand new Bullseye here on Challenge. But next, we head into the casino for the tense and gripping final of Celebrity Poker Club. Who's going to have the nerve to bag the 25 grand prize pot?